Thank you very much, Jenna. The Stop is a fascinating true story about the transformation of a food bank into a community food center. And the book challenges everything you think you know about food banks and has become an inspirational template for new CFCs, including one here in Winnipeg. Here with how the idea is making a difference when it comes to feeding hungry people, the co-author of the book, Nick Saul. Nick, there's tons to cover, but let's start at the basics. So, uh, difference between a food bank and a community food center. Well, the food bank is uh, a basic transaction. You wait in a line, you get to the front of the line, you get handed a not very healthy hamper of food, largely, and you go home feeling smaller than you should, and you kind of keep your eyes on the floor. So three million people in this country are food insecure, which means they don't know where their next meal is going to come from, or they're missing meals so their kids can eat, and only a million of them go to food banks. So there's a lot of stigma associated with going to them. A community food center, on the other hand, is a place where you walk in and I'll often say you never underestimate the power of a great meal cooked with love and eaten with others. You'll sit down to a great healthy uh, meal and you'll look up and you'll say, wow, there are a million ways I can get involved in this place. I can, I can plant gardens. I can cook with my, uh, with my fellow uh, community members. I can get involved in a campaign to increase social assistance rates. So it's a place where uh, through food you build hope and self-worth, which are two key ingredients to individual and community change. So it's more than just feeding hungry people, but as you make it several points, uh, several times in the book, the point that uh, giving somebody healthy food makes a difference to their life in so many other ways. Yeah. How does it change society when I'm feeding healthy food to hungry people? Well, it's just the, it's so elemental that you need to eat healthy food to move on with your day. And what we find is that ostensibly people come to community food centers for the food, but they come for the community. If you take a community kitchen where people plan a meal together, they cook it together, they eat it together, and they take food home, that's a place where people are learning about what resources exist in the community, mm -hmm. making connections and breaking their social isolation. So all through the idea of creating a space that is generous and dignified where people can connect over food, it, it creates those baseline things like hope and self-worth that I talked about earlier. To be the person who uh, does things wrong, I want to say, what, what's wrong with me? Um, once a year going through my old pantry and pulling out that, that dented can of pumpkin pie filling or uh, throwing the, the pasta that I wouldn't feed yeah. my kids into the hamper once a month. Yeah. Um, why was that? What was wrong with that system? Yeah. Well, if you look at uh, any low-income community, you have poor health. So take diabetes. We spend $12 billion a year on diabetes in this country, and it affects the poor at twice the rate the healthy. So next time you lean into your fridge or into your cupboard, you should be thinking about healthy food. But I think more importantly, because donating to the food bank kind of makes us all feel as though the answer, the, the issue has been taken care sure. of. And I think next time you lean into your cupboard, donate something that's really healthy, but also get involved in a campaign that is about increasing social assistance rates, is about uh, increasing access to affordable housing, is about minimum wages. Those are the reasons reasons why people are poor, not because there isn't enough food out there, there's plenty of food. And so the community food center is a place where we meet people where they're at through good food and mm -hmm. connection around food, but we also talk about those larger systemic issues that drive vulnerability in the food in the first place. It's more than just feeding that hungry person, it's making sure that uh, they can take care of themselves and that society does what it does so that they never need that food bank. That's right. Yeah. There's a, uh, I, we could talk forever, but there's yeah. a CFC coming to Winnipeg. Uh, there is. We'll be building build very shortly. How, how is that going to change the area around it? How is it going to change the lives of the people who use it? Well, there's a lot of poverty in, in, in Inkster. We're working with Norwest Co-op Community Health Center, which has a long history of doing great work in, in Inkster. And they've always dabbled in food, but they've never had a ton of capacity. So we're going to work together to create uh, a new organization, a community food center there, that, that meets the needs of those community members in a way that is uh, about skills, about hope, about sustainability. And the great thing about this new food movement that's happening is it's young, it's energized, chefs want to get involved, farmers want to get involved, and, and people want to cook together, they want to grow together. So yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, I hope, and uh, I'm, I'm convinced because we've got a great partner that we're gonna create a center that is responsive and dignified so that people who are in that community can find their own voice on the issues that matter most to them. Because they're the ones who are affected red line. They have uh, to be at the headline. forefront of it. And of that conversation. It is a, a fascinating story. It's a fascinating book. Uh, if you'd like some more information, you'd like to find a little bit more uh, tonight at McNally Robinson, and Nick's actually going to be signing and reading as well. It's a conversation that is about so much more than just food, but that's where everything starts. Yeah. Fascinating well, stuff. Uh, information's on breakfasttelevision.ca. My yeah. pleasure. And Can I tell you that www.cfccanada.ca if people want more info? On yes. That? Great. It's already linked on breakfasttelevision.ca. We got it taken care of. Perfect. All good. Thank you. Our buddy Drew is leaving a look at what parents and kids can enjoy this weekend here at the Forks.